Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons, a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than 500 days. I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to have a special occasion. I think I have never had a chance to um, have a first impression or preview for heroes which are which are already almost here. We have uh, two epic heroes and two legendary heroes to review. I'm really excited to see these four heroes because especially epic ones, I, I wanted to have more epic heroes and finally we are getting them, right? At first we need to mention that epic heroes are already here, uh, we can get them from the gold chest and from silver chest and yeah, Tara and Nairnin is here, we can actually uh, get them and use them in the Call of Dragons. So let's understand what kind of new epic heroes we are having here and of course I will try my best to, sh to share my first impressions and first opinions uh, about these uh, heroes, right? Uh, Tara is a League of Order overall gatherer and support talent tree hero, which kind of looks cute, right? I like the theme, I like the uh, style, uh, more of a, like a priestess, right? So let's see what kind of skills uh, Tara is going to have. The first one is always most important skill, um, attack range very far, of course, heals the legion lightly wounded units and grants the legion synergy until the legion casts a rage skill. Healing factor is 500 and alright, synergy is hero skill damage dealt up to 20%. Alright, the numbers here are pretty huge, right? 20% hero skill damage deal bonus is a huge amount of percentage and 500 healing factor is quite good. If we're gonna uh, like compare uh, her with the Indies, let me check. Uh, where is my Indies? Uh, Indies has 600 healing, uh, 450 healing factor. Um, and infirm 20% and in this is awakened right so difference is huge um, like new style of epic hero is here and i think she's already uh, powerful with the main skill the second one while in the battle the legion and the four surrounding friendly legions can gain keen and resistance every 10 seconds keen attack uh, 5% damage taken minus 4% um, well, 15% attack bonus and damage reduction up to 10%. So, uh, we understand that Tara is gathered, right? But I think she can be amazing support. We are get, we are uh, having in a state of the game where we are going to have a new different uh, type of march or legion, which is purely support type, uh, buffing uh, legions around you. And I'm actually really, really excited by, about this change. I think this is a new direction to Call of Dragon which is quite interesting gathering speed bonus is 20% and gathering mana um, like speed is 20% also the fourth skill again one more pvp skill 10% defense bonus 10% hp bonus hp bonus is always my preferable choice in terms of buffs right one two three skills are already amazing for pvp in my opinion especially if you are going to a support type of gameplay right the awakening skill which will be easy for us to awaken her because she is epic hero uh, generally gets uh, 600 like 100 more healing factor um, and yes like that's all i guess because uh, skill damage dealt is also 20 percent we are getting additional uh, 100 more healing factor uh, in my opinion this is amazing epic hero already one of the best which we have currently in the game um, i really like the synergies i really like that she can be buffer I think she will, if uh, we are going to use Dara as a primary with some of the support type of uh, buffer or even debuffer, we are going to go for the support uh, talent tree, right? I think she is really, really interesting. I didn't really expect it that uh, Gatherers would be such a good PvP heroes also. I had my thoughts. Uh, when, if you saw the update uh, the preview when I read the update, I said that I think overall um, Epic Hero will be good in PvP and actually that's what's happened, right? Um, so yeah, I think a lot of people are going to use Dara as a purely support hero and of course as a gatherer for the man, right? Um, that's great. I, I like everything about her right I, I didn't really expect this kind of cool uh, theme uh, nice skills amazing talents 
uh, and yeah, you can ask more for Epic Hero. The second one is also looking amazing. Let's give the appreciation where it's due, right? Narnin is like a assassin of Spring Wardens. That's how she actually looks, or maybe he, but I think she's she, right? Uh, infantry Gatherer Skill Talent Tree. Uh, by the looks, uh, both of the Epic Heroes, I would give like uh, 10 out of 10, or, or maybe... Uh, well, I think by them, uh, themselves, both of them are pretty good, right? Now, the first skill, main skill, as always, always deals diffused physical damage to the target and surrounding legions. Damaged legions receive 5% less healing for 3 seconds. Well... I can already understand what kind of hero uh, she will be, right? Uh, skill damage factor is 600 and healing receive reduction is 15%. Uh, second one is gather speed, speed bonus 20% and for the gold 20%. Uh, third skill is infantry skill 50% physical attack and uh, infantry unit hero skill damage deal 10%. Epic hero stats, nothing really special. Uh, when the legion launches a normal attack, they have a 10% chance to inflict gloom on the target legion, reducing the target's attack by 20%, which is quite high amount, right? The awakening skill, each time Narnin casts a black uh, claw, which is the first skill of course, she gains 2% HP up to maximum of 10%. Effects last until her legion joins or leaves a rallied army or enters stronghold or resource point. So kind of stacking ability, right? I think she will be counter of supports, which is Darais and other supports which are going to have healing. Uh, she will be counter for sand lizards and I think it's a, a one we have a support type of gameplay and uh, finally we have something like assassin in this game which is using infantry uh, and it's pretty interesting what kind of direction this game is going right i think both epic heroes look amazingly uh, like uh, of course i will try to use them both i will test them with different kind of hero pairs and I think both of them is going to have a lot of use in Call of Dragons. Especially, I think both of them will be used in PvP, uh, maybe by tier 4 players. I think support type of gameplay and this like debuffer of the healing healer and uh, like stacking assassin, that's like what what looks like. Now will be also good for tier 4 players, which like more damage you are going to deal uh, to tier 5 players by debuffing them, by making them weaker will be better. I really really appreciate these two epic heroes, it's been uh, like, I think it's been the first time when I when we received epic heroes in this game, right? Uh, well, maybe you will think that that's all regarding like new heroes which are coming to Call of Dragons, but as I said, this is exciting video because we are going to review four heroes instead of two and uh, how we are going to do that of course same way like we did last time when new heroes were coming to the town uh, by the emojis right uh, first hero is dan fell which we are going to review dwarf uh, again a unique uh, uh, like uh, the theme of the hero we i think we don't have any dwarves uh, like um eliana is league of order of course but she's kind of gnome but she's kind of small child right uh but i guess uh, the new hero looks like a dwarf from from the lord of the rings or something some uh, some theme like this right uh, let's see what kind of synergies and what kind of skills uh, Danfell is going to use. I really like this shield, I really like this sword, I really like how he actually looks and yeah, I like the direction of the heroes we are getting, right? Infantry PvP tank, amazing talents for infantry heroes. Uh, first skill as always, uh, the main one and we need to actually uh, think twice about these two new infantry legendary heroes because it's been a while that we are having infantry meta and right now we will understand if infantry meta will continue grants the, le the legion a shield and deals damage to the target shield factor is um, 600 which is nice and the physical skill damage factor is 1600 which is quite high for infantry the second one, while in the field, the legion and friendly legions behind it gain mercy for 3 seconds every 10 seconds. Mercy is range damage taken reduction up to 20%. Come on, that's that's too much. So one Dunfell uh, uh, legion will buff 3 legions for 20% to range attacks. Effort, effect triggered once every 10 seconds. Whoa, this is amazing, right? This is cool. Uh, third one. 
infantry buffs, defense bonus 10%, that's like more of epic hero buffs, and infantry with HP bonus, the best uh, bonus we have in the game is HP bonus, is 20%, which is nice. Uh, the first one, when the legion cast a shield strike, shield strike, let me see, yeah, first skill, um, the target legion gains the ability theated and slow for 3 seconds, uh, takes uh, more damage from the legion, 20% uh, more damage from the Legion and 20% March speed reduction. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, I think Infantry Meta will continue. When dealing damage to Legion affected by Halfing Fury, uh, which is Halfing Fury, is the first skill. Uh, it's one second to the duration of the uh, slow and the effect, and that can be triggered once every two seconds. All right. Uh, P2 wins favorite hero Dunfell is here, uh, let's uh, congratulate two players who are going to awaken him as fast as possible because I think we are going to have more uh, infantry meta, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually <laughs> not that exciting, we are going to hit some brick wall for more because all of these skills are usable everywhere. Uh, you have tankiness, you have the damage, you have amazing synergies behind the skills and yeah, I think uh, it's like even awakening skill is amazing which means for pay to win players this one will be one of the most favorite heroes which they have because synergy with the awakening skill and the force skill and the force skill synergy with the first skill is yeah pretty good pretty good uh, let's check the second hero the first one actually um, which we are reviewing so far and the last one is Mogoro. Uh, Mogoro is the infantry hero from the Spring Wardens faction. I, I guess he's some kind of brother or sister or, um, I don't know, like a child uh, of Garwood. Or maybe he's the father. But yeah, guy looks like a Garwood because he's tree. But I, I kind of like this theme also, right? Uh, infantry garrison skill, uh, new garrison uh, infantry hero for um, Spring Wardens uh, skill is quite interesting, right? First and main skill, uh, which has rage cost 1000, gains a lash auto out for 3 seconds. Meanwhile, target is branded and bruised for 3 seconds. Lash out means deals diffused physical skill damage every second to the target and to surrounding legions. Uh, skill damage factor is 450 uh, for every sec. Okay, come on, it's a lot. HP reduction, uh, HP 30%. All right, we are having some skill user infantry hero. Yeah, game is changing, guys. Game will be different. Game will be more interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, passive skill: now when Legion inflicts a debuff upon a target via innate skill, innate skill is the five fixed skills that every hero starts out with, this did not include their talents, the, the effect is also transmitted to up to two surrounding targets, well means that uh, hero skill damage deal debuff targets 15%, more damage, less uh, sort of ability, more damage. Uh, Legion infantry units gain 10% uh, physical attack, 20% infantry unit defense. I would want to have uh, HP bonus instead of physical attack, but that's fine. Uh, garrison skill is damage deal bonus 10%, HP bypass 10%, alright. When dealing damage uh, to a brain that enemy Legion, uh, Legion deals additional physical skill damage factor. 20, uh, 200 effects can be triggered once every 5 seconds. Let me introduce guys, a skill damage factor user infantry hero. Uh, the first one which will uh, be less tanky, but uh, skill damage factor will be the uh, damage type which this legion is good, this hero is going to deal damage. Um, I think you are going to be really squishy for Mogro, and I, I'm not going to say this is a bad playstyle. I need to see how it works. Maybe you are going to deal absolutely amazing amount of damage. Plus, we have skill tree, right? So it will be really, really interesting. Yeah, I think we reviewed uh, every single hero which is coming to the game. I think all of them is separately interesting. I love the two new epic heroes. Uh, Danfell is amazing for pay to win players. Mogro needs to be tested because, um, like, this is pretty weird. We don't have anything like this in the game and uh, in legendary section, especially. And we need to actually check how good of the synergies Mogro will have and how much damage uh, this hero will do, right? Because I think Mogro is damage dealer. 
Honestly, Mogro is not tank. Mogro is purely damage dealer. That's my honest opinion about this uh, second legendary hero. Now, of course, I'm not going to speculate regarding hero pairs. I need to uh, play more and I need to think more about the heroes which are coming. Um, it was my first impression, what I think, what's my reactions about the uh, new heroes. And I think all of them are really, really interesting, giving us the new direction of the game, which we are moving forward. And it's, it's, it's looking quite good, right? Uh, I think soon we are going to have some sneak peeks of the new faction and yeah. Lot of exciting times for Call of Dragons. As always, if you like the video, press like, subscribe, share. It gives me more and more motivation to make more videos for this game. And as always, wish everybody an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are. We are going to see each other really, really soon. Bye-bye and good luck.